Hi, my name is Gina Petrasevich, and I am recording this video for Professor Coniglia's EDU 625 at Toro College. My designated grade level was kindergarten, so I prepared a science lesson about animals. Um, before I begin, I'd like to talk a little bit about Piaget and Vygotsky. Um, in kindergarten, children are usually five or six years old. According to Piaget, they fit into the pre-operational period, which is from two to seven years old. In this stage, their speech becomes more social, they're less egocentric, and the child has an intuitive grasp of logical concepts in some areas. However, there is still a tendency to focus attention on one aspect of an object while ignoring others. Um, Piaget and Vygotsky were both enormously significant contributors to the cognitive development component of psychology. The way children learn and mentally grow plays a central role in their learning processes and abilities. Um, both Piaget and Vygotsky were regarded as constructivists. Constructivism is an approach to teaching and learning based on the premise that cognition is the result of mental construction. In other words, students learn by fitting new information together with what they already know. They believe that learning is affected by the context in which an idea is taught, as well as by students' beliefs and attitudes. So today I'm going to begin with a book called Animal Life. In this book, it has all different types of animals. Animals that fly, animals that crawl, animals that swim. So I would begin my lesson by introducing the different animals and asking questions, and I would discuss like in my lesson plan, I plan on clarifying the difference between animals that fly and animals that do not. So I would begin to call on students to come up and, or from their seats. If I had a smart board, you can variate this lesson by having them come up and write it in themselves. Um, I would ask them questions like, can anybody name an animal that flies? I pre-prepared some cards with names in case some of the students couldn't come up with some ideas. So the first set of cards are, that I printed up are animals that fly. So I would call on the first student, give me an animal, name an animal that flies, and say, let's say they would say bats. So I'd write it in the column under animals that fly. Say, who can name another animal that flies? Let's just say another student chose stork. I would write stork under that column. I would then go on until I had quite a few to make my list pretty varied. Then I would move on. Animals that do not fly. Again, I would have my backup cards in case they couldn't come up with an animal, but I'm sure they could at this level. Can anybody name an animal that does not fly? And let's just say they said cow. So I would write cow in this column. I would then move on to ask this next student, pig. A pig does not fly. I would go on with the lesson until I filled the columns up. In addition, I also prepared some visuals, because some students learn better by visual stimulation. So, on an index card, I cut out pictures, pigs, cows, owls, a mixture of animals that fly and animals that do not. Now, they can play at their desks, they can categorize them on their own, they can play in groups or pairs, they can cut out pictures, I can come in with magazines, and they can clarify the objects, the animals like that. Now, I would also go on to add that this is two different categories, and that's a classification. I can move on with the lesson by asking them, okay, animals that fly, what makes them fly? What do these animals have that these don't? When we could go on, hopefully somebody would come up with wings, and I could say, okay, these animals have wings. Then I would go on to say, well, how come these animals can't fly, other than the fact that they don't have wings? Okay, hopefully I would get the answers that these animals are bigger, they're larger, they're heavier, and we can go into the classification of those types of animals. And another variation to this could be like sight words or letters, recognition of the letters, like, okay, cow, what does a cow begin with? The letter C. Pig, what does this letter begin with? The letter P. And we can do a whole different lesson on the letters of the alphabet in addition to this. 
that is my lesson. That is what I prepared. Hope you enjoyed it.